Well, uh, thanks everyone for coming. Um, I'm going to be talking about actually a little side project that we've been doing in the JBrowse world to connect the genome and the protein universe, as I call it. So, uh, here we go. so JBrowse 2 does a lot of stuff, and I don't have the talk to give about that right now, but you know, we can show whole genome overviews, compare different species with symphony <laughs> plots, um, view, visualize structural variants. Um, but for this talk, we're going to look at connecting the protein world to JBrowse. So I wanted to dig deep into some of the challenges that we actually face into this as much as I can in five minutes. So can we derive what we need to know about proteins just from what users normally come to JBrowse with, which is just GFF files. And, um, you know, I wanted to avoid making people run complex pipelines or specialized steps. So I said, yes, we're just going to take the GFFs and use the uh, feature structure of gene mRNA exon CDS. And the pros of that is that you get, uh, you know, everything you need to know about protein sequences uh, because we built it. Um, the cons are there could be weird corner cases of biology, um, but uh, we think those can be surmountable with increased standardization of GFF. And then speaking of mapping to uh, the protein to genome coordinates, you know, we just had to build our own tool uh, to do that. And this is reusable outside of JBrowse if you ever need to do this. And, uh, you know, as I said, how can you leverage sort of existing resources? So I wanted to connect to the exciting world of like AlphaFold and, and everything. So I wanted to use AlphaFold DB to access proteins that were folded already or collab fold if you wanted to fold your own proteins and uh, some of these other resources like, you know, APIs. So now just some screenshots. Let's say you're browsing your favorite gene. Um, you can, using this plugin that we created, the Protein 3D plugin, right click the gene, say launch 3D protein view, and it will take you to a dialog box where it uh, looks up the Unipro ID from a service we used, mygene.info, for this. And as it turns out, every Unipro ID has been uh, folded by AlphaFoldDB. So you get a free structure from that. So we hit submit. Um, Oh, sorry. And then the alternative is if you don't want to use AlphaFold DB, you can manually upload your own PDB file from, uh, say, CoMFold. When you hit submit, um, it just creates a panel of 3D structure visualization. This is Molestar. Um, and what is unique about this is all the coordinate mappings are in our head, so to say. So you can do a mouse over on the protein structure, and it highlights where that is on the genome browser and vice versa. So you could contextualize your observations with, say, a ClinVar track or any other type of information uh, on the genome that you wanted to. Um, this is a real random thing I threw in. We could do other types of viewers as well. So I know there's an ICN 3D presence here, so I just hacked this up. It doesn't have all the mouse overs integrated, but that could be a fun project. You can also do multiple sequence alignment views in JBrowse. So uh, similar workflow, right click your gene of interest. Um, and you can recruit sequences using NCBI blast on the fly, find a bunch of related sequences to view in a multiple sequence alignment or some preloaded data set. This is from UCSC. You can also query interpro scan on the fly, find all these uh, protein domains, show uh, you know, a unique view of all the uh, internal structures of those proteins. And uh, that basically concludes my talk. And just because I didn't get to tease any fun JBrowse related features, you can also um, look forward to some work we're doing on multi-way symphony. So with that, I just want to say thanks. And uh, I want to do a plus one for office hours. We have been doing office hours since last fall, 
and it's been really successful. You can find it on our website and uh, thanks. <laughs>